What is up my urge of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now in today's update, well Tuesday, I actually brought a lot of information, new information to light on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now there is kind of a few spoilers in this, not really, but I just thought I'd just say it just in case. So this information confirms that Frank Woods will be a playable operator within Call of Duty Warzone with images. However, I cannot show these images because I do not want to get a copyright on my channel or taken down. Now, there is also an official description for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which says this. The iconic Black Ops series is back with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, the direct sequel to the original and fan favourite Call of Duty Black Ops. Black Ops Cold War will drop fans into the depth of the Cold War's volatile geopolitical battle of the early 1980s. Nothing is ever as it seems and a gripping single player campaign where players will come face to face with historical figures and hard truths as they battle around the globe through iconic locales like East Berlin, Vietnam, Turkey, Soviet KGB headquarters and many many more. As elite operatives you will follow the trail of a shadowy figure named Prometheus who is on a mission to destabilize the global balance of power and change the course of history. Descend into the dark center of the global conspiracy alongside iconic characters like Woods, Mason, Hudson and the new cast of operatives attempting to stop a plot decades in the making. Beyond the campaign, players will bring Cold War arsenal of weapons and equipment into the next generation of multiplayer and zombie experiences. Welcome to the brink. Welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I think I did a pretty good voice for that narration. I was going to go for a huskier, deeper voice, but then I decided that I wouldn't. I'm kind of proud of myself the way I did it, actually. I'm low-key, no cap, bro. I kind of like it. So, alongside this, the official release date has actually been leaked, coming out November 13th, 2020, which is a Friday, which is good, and... There seemingly been text files indicating September 9th as the multiplayer reveal. Now, there are pre-orders that will be happening soon. And these actually have three editions. You have the regular edition, cross-gen edition bundle, and ultimate edition. Now, the regular edition is just basically your run of the mail. All you get is your game. That's it. Goodbye. The cross-gen edition bundle, which is new... This is where you will have to pay a bit more money. However, if you're getting the next gen consoles, you will be given basically a discount when getting it for either the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Now, I'll talk about that a bit more and give my opinion in a minute or two. I just want to talk about the Ultimate Edition and a bit more now. So, the Ultimate Edition is you're going to be having land sea and air pack which we already seemingly knew about which will have three operator skins three weapon blueprints and three vehicle skins this also includes battle pass bundle one season battle pass plus 20 tier skips and confrontations weapon pack so this all book confirms that both the battle pass and seasons will be returning but we already kind of knew this was going to be a thing for the store and the season pass have been making tons of money for Activision. I just want to say if Treyarch are any good they will bring back prestigious. We need to see prestigious. I hope to have a video on things what we want to see in Black Ops Cold War compared to things that we didn't see in Modern Warfare. Now just to go back to the cross gen edition bundle the one thing like this is the one thing i did not understand that you will have to pay to upgrade once you get a next gen console so you pay say i'm from ireland so when i buy the next college of duty game it'll be for ps4 
and that will cost me 70 euro which is fucking outrageous it should be capped at 50 but you know what triple a companies like these are just greedy cunts and they won't do that so you're paying 50 say seven it's 70 euro if i get it on the playstation store but if i get it in the physical copy it's I think it's only 60 which is kind of good so i might do that you know i might do that again i did that with modern warfare and that saved me a lot of money so you buy the game now for ps4 or the xbox and it costs you 70 euro then when you upgrade to a ps5 or an xbox series x depending on how much they are just say both of them are 500 euro you're spending 500 euro and then you have to upgrade the game so you're getting the ps say the ps5 you're getting the next gen console game of call of duty black ops cold war that could be another 30 or 40 euro because they're not going to have it that you only have to pay 15 or 20 euro no way in hell they will be that cheap it'll be between 30 and 40 euro i'd say so you're looking at a good guts of six 30 640 like 630 or 640 euros which is just mind-blowing to me like why is this even an option compared to the likes of ea and all them big triple a gaming companies that are actually giving you the option if you buy on current gen you will be able to upgrade for free i definitely know uh with at least ea with fifa they are doing that but it just this makes no sense to me it's ridiculous it's just greedy and if they do do this it'll have a lot of people up in arms personally for me i think it should be free when you upgrade because lots of people are going to be like well okay if i can't get the ps5 now will i bother even getting call of duty black ops cold war what if i just wait until it's on sale and when i have the ps5 or the xbox series x and then i'll get it then and that could be six months seven months or maybe near enough nearing the end of its life cycle i'm not really sure but that's just my take on it personally i think activision should recant this and say look we're actually not going to do that uh you get this code when you get the regular edition ultimate edition or even cross-gen edition if they keep it as cross-gen edition if they don't probably be called hardened edition i'd say and you get this code and this is code is only for you and once you buy the ps5 you put this code in and boom you have your game you have all your stats and everything from the, say the likes of ps4 and it converts over to the ps5 that's personally what they should do and i hope to see that but yeah tomorrow or when you're seeing this it'll be basically more or less today because it'll be around midnight when this is uploaded uh i will be live about half an hour before the whole reveal hopefully and i hope to be able to show it off and yeah that's really it guys hope you did like this video if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to stay up to date with my channel and give me a subscriber right beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a youtube video or even when i go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly and i will be live streaming tomorrow on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below and once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on that channel i also have a twitter that i manually update whenever i upload a video or whenever i go live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below as well and yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace